My name is Ernie. I am link number five in the catalyst of giving chain. Ernie. I was uh, born in Los Angeles. I live in Wilmington for about 45 years. Yeah, I got a call from Solomon. Uh, he asked me uh, this project of giving, and I was really shocked because he does a lot of good work. Uh, I know that because there's things that I can't do that he can do for me. Uh, I was very honored that he even mentioned me, or even was I was even chosen, because I'm not used to having gifts given to me at all. I usually give them what I have and, and a little more. But uh, I know he's a good person and he gives what he can with a little bit that he has. And I was very honored that he had, I was chosen. I'm just going into Costco is, is where I usually shop. Uh, they have a little better electric carts and I usually bulk up because it's difficult at times for me to go to the store every two or three days so I usually make a, a shopping run at Costco. I like their products. Uh, I get a bulk so I don't have to go for four or five days because it gets harder and harder for me to shop. I probably come to a point where someone has to shop for me. But I still like to get out. And I joined the Marine Corps in July of 1967 and I stayed in the Marine Corps for about 23 years. Uh, when I got out, uh, I became a carpenter and worked for the Long Beach Unified School District in their maintenance department. I worked with them until uh, 2003. Uh, I uh, was injured and I retired from that. I've been going to the VA for the last, since, it, since I was, uh, since oh, 1968 when I was inducted uh, there. Uh, I do volunteer work about two or three times a week with the new uh, veterans that come from Afghanistan and other parts of the world that are still in the military. I've contracted uh, Parkinson's since then, so it's, it's isolated me from the things that I can normally do most of the time, but I still get out and do volunteer work whenever possible at the VA when they call, uh, because this is a very deafening problem that we're having to, from the people or the new kids on the block as I, we call them because uh, they're so young and don't understand what what's really happened to them and what they look forward to because when you have lost a limb you have lost any part of your body you're pretty well depressed and whatever your lifestyle has, has to be changed but you still have to live on you still have to live for the moment uh, and I've got a reputation because even though that I do have the Parkinson's, I still live on. I've not given up. And being at 65, I've probably seen more action than they'll ever see in their entire life. And they seem to have an uplifting when they see me coming down the corridor, limping along, but I'm still there. But the basic thing is, you know, be giving to everyone that you can, and maybe you can change change their lives and change a little bit of the world as you go along. This project is, is a very giving, I think, for other people to understand that we all have to live in this world. Uh, and being chosen, I, I feel very honored because this is one time that I appreciate what I've been giving, even if it's a little thing. Uh, sometimes it makes a difference for some people and others for others, but to be actually chosen is a very honored thing for me. Uh, I don't usually take things from other people. I usually give them what they may need or to help them along to get what they need to get. But I'm very honored that I, I was chosen.